Welcome back, and this is still tea time on Plus TV Africa. Well, we were expecting Jaru, but something better than Jaru just walked into the room, and you would be blown away. Our guest is currently the president and founder of the Chinwe Chibweke Foundation (CCF). It is an international non-profit organization that has been involved in a lot of charity and philanthropy to the benefit of a lot of people. The weight of their work has been felt mostly in Nigeria, where they procure health consultancy, medical aids, and treatment. She has stared our organization to provide wide medical relief to people of Abia State and other states in Nigeria through a collaborative effort with the government. Her passion for philanthropy and um, charity drove her into the medical field. She is a nurse, businesswoman, a degree older in plant and biotechnology. Let us welcome the woman of many professions, Gloria Chibweke. Hey. I'm the drum roll guy, so don't worry, you get drum roll, you got less. <laughs> What's good, man? Welcome Hi. to the show. Hi. It is an honor having you on the show. Mm -hmm. Especially before. somebody who works very closely with the government, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're your kid, why else? <laughs> <laughs> before we even go anywhere, mm -hmm. plant and biotechnology. Mm -hmm. Can you just help me wrap my mind around that a little bit? Why? That's not a very common thing. What drew you there? Was it something that you just fell upon, or is it something that you wanted to do? Um, sincerely, okay, I'm going to say the truth. Um, it's plant science and biotechnology, and truthfully, I was, because I did that degree in Nigeria here before I moved abroad, right. and it wasn't really my passion. Mm. It was more like, you know how Nigeria is, mm. you get your admission, mm. and you probably don't get the cost that you want. I knew I was going to travel out at some point. You know, so I just said, okay, I'm just going to do that. But I actually enjoyed it because nice. it was quite, you know, enlightening. And mm. I there was a lot to learn from it. That's All awesome. right. So I want to move into the health sector right now. We need to give you a short applaud for being mm. on the front line during the COVID-19. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you're one no, of the heroes, heroes, you know. Real you're one of the heroes, heroes. you know, real life guys. superheroes. Thank and you. Um, thank yeah. you for doing that. Thank and you. something I also know you're really passionate about is uh, malaria, which is one sickness that has plagued this country for a long time and yes. Africa at large. Mm -hmm. And um, why malaria? Why did you choose malaria? And tell us about your NGO that focuses on malaria and especially what you're doing for October 1st. Um, so my NGO generally, like you already said, um, we tackle health issues. We try to educate people on health issues and, you know, we, we try to advocate, we try to consult, you know, we do a lot of things, but mainly on health and education. Mm. Um, presently we've been, I think for like a year now, cause I made it like, I made it a goal to tackle mm. malaria seriously, because I know that's one of the biggest problems we have in Africa at the mm. moment. Um, we've done a few projects on malaria. Mm. We run full-scale projects. Like, we, um, we test you, you see a doctor, you wait for your results, and you get medication if you need one. Nice. You know, so I like to do that because a lot of people... They, they would tell you, oh, I'm going to take herbs because I don't have money to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So if you're able to bring these things to mm -hmm. them, they're good. They're happy. You can see the excitement on their face. Mm -hmm. So with the whole high rise of malaria in Africa, like we're trying to go into other countries, through other African countries presently. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually planning something with um, Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. um, but presently, uh, for 1st of October... We are actually um, planning my organization and in collaboration with other um, organizations too. We're trying to run a full-scale malaria project, which is Nigeria at 60, uh, you know, malaria eradication. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be different this time because there's an addition. Okay. And the addition is, you know, I discovered a malaria repellent band. Mm. I should have brought a sample, though. You should have. You should have. <laughs> you should have. Yeah. Okay, so I owe you guys to... Yes, you said it on TV. So yes, I said it on TV. Record that, please. Period. <laughs> so um, it's very effective. Mm. I have tried it. I've, I'm sure I've given it to, like, 15 people because I wanted to test it out myself before I put it out there. Um... I'm trying to have, you know, people come together because it's not that cheap, but I'm happy that I have 
good people who are able to collaborate with me mm -hmm. for us to make, you know, for us to reach out wild to other people. Mm -hmm. um, so we're trying to run a full scale malaria project, mm -hmm. you know, test people, give them medication, see a doctor, and at the same time, give them the repellent band. Now mm -hmm. it lasts for three months. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I want to ask you a question, mm -hmm. uh, kind of casual. I feel like my blood type, yeah, mm -hmm. mosquitoes like it. Because I'll be chilling, on my. everyone is fine, but mosquito is eating all over my body. Mm -hmm. is, there, is there some type of scent or blood type that just attracts malaria, malaria um, mosquitoes more than others? Or is that just in my head? <laughs> I think it would somehow, it would be in your head. And sometimes, like, I think the environment that you are in mm. might also be a cause to that. Mm -hmm. But she lives in the suburbs, so don't worry about it. Don't worry <laughs> well, about I, I, I want to ask a more personal question. We have to run up because we're running out of time. Okay. Um, there's something about your, will I say your bio, your bio that speaks like you are quite intentional. Okay. Um, obviously going back to your roots with Abia State and, you know, really being intentional with your stuff. I don't know if that's just me picking up on it or mm. if that's something you're doing quite deliberately. Mm -hmm. And then what is the long term goal? Like if someone wants to look, look at your space, what should they be expecting? I, I'm going forward from even October. Um, I think my long-term goal is to bring back proper Real health quick, care, mm. um, yeah. to bring back proper health care service to Nigeria, Amen. to Africa at large. Hallelujah. You know, that, that that's my goal. I mm. just want to be able to be one of those people who would give back to my country, who would be able to bring the government and the people together, mm. especially the youths. Mm. As a youth advocate, you know, mm. I try to make sure we're, we're, mm -hmm. we're working together. Mm -hmm. You know I what like I mean? Mm -hmm. And being able to, like, I want people to see me as an inspiration to say, no, I'm going to do this because mm. she's doing this. Yeah. You know, so that's just my goal. I feel you. All right. So um, we, we have loads of more questions to ask you, but time wouldn't permit us mm -hmm. to do that, right? Like we were going to ask an health insurance and a whole lot mm -hmm. of other stuff. But, you know, you can join the conversation by, you know, joining our social media channels and just you know sending you questions and she'll be right there to respond to you but it's a wrap it's a wrap as time flies when it's getting interesting but remember to watch this episode and other episodes you can you can watch on our youtube channel at plus tv africa my thank you will go to my co-anchor ife omai and cc the ginger and our guest of course gloria chigo okay and the entire production team remember to set your reminder every day by 10 30 a.m and 4 30 p.m to catch the new episode of tea time at plus tv africa i am ife olua oshike Astala vista